Welcome back on the show. It is the day show. It's time now for Spotlight. And earlier I mentioned that she's someone who's doing an incredible job when it comes to autistic children in the country. But in fact, there's a lot more to just those cases that she handles. Afi Antonio is here. <laughs> Have you heard of Mr. and Mrs. Autism? You've heard that competition. Well, this is the brain behind it. Please show her more love. Hi, Afi. How are Hi, you? I'm good. Good to have you. Yes. The last time we spoke was maybe like two years ago. Yes, It I was think quite so. a while. Yeah, it's been and a you're while. back on the yes, show. Yes, First yes. of all, I must say I love you. I love, I love you what too, you're Bella. doing. Like you found your purpose and you're living your purpose. And it's so beautiful to watch. Thank you. So please don't ever give up. Thank don't you. give up. Thank but you. how did this all come about? Um, okay, so I didn't start with the intention of helping anyone with any condition. Mm. I just was helping people who couldn't pay for their surgeries, children mm. whose parents can't pay for their surgeries and other things. And then someone tagged me under a post on Facebook. Mm. Um, she's the first girl I started with the autism modeling, okay. Nanaya. Her mom posted yes. her on Facebook and said she needed someone to help her mm. to be a photo model because yeah. she's very pretty. Yeah. Nanaya's and, um, mom is the one who runs the special needs school. Yes, Clicks yes. Africa. Okay. Yes, yes. So I saw the post and I, I'm like, okay, let me see if I can help. Mm. So that's how it started. Mm. I started with her. Kweku David was the one who took the photos, okay. and then the photos went viral. Mm -hmm. um, BBC came on board, they saw the wow. photos, and they couldn't believe that these children had autism. After Nanaya, I had two parents who wanted the, their children to join. And so all these I children had, were autistic children yes, as well? Yes, they were all autistic children. Are those the only cases you've handled over time? No, 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 no. I've had other children. Okay. But it's been a little challenging because with time, some of the parents felt that maybe I'm using their children mm. for, you know, so to raise funds for yes, yourself. Yes, yes, but wow. that wasn't the case. I just, I, I enjoyed what I was doing with them. Mm. And the fact that I decided to be an advocate, talk to people on what autism is mm -hmm. and try to push inclusion of persons living with autism. Yeah. I get calls from other regions asking when we'll be there because there are a lot of children living with autism over there. Their parents are locking them in their rooms because of the stigma attached to it. You know, a lot of people um, laugh at their parents. They feel their children are cares. They are river children. They mm. went to the Jumen for their children. Their parents maybe did something wrong and mm. God is punishing them with such children. Wow. So a lot of parents find it difficult coming out with them like going out mm -hmm. um so it's been a little challenging but i told them it's difficult to you know it's just one person exactly if i don't have the support to be able to move around it will be difficult so but i'm hoping that that will happen sometime soon when you say you're hoping does it mean that <laughs> all this has been coming from your pocket and you're not exactly getting support okay when it comes to autism i've not I'm not doing it like I'm commercializing it. Mm -hmm. I just want to help genuinely. Mm -hmm. So I haven't made any money out of autism. Of so I, I, I wouldn't say I get support. So the, the company that has always been there for me is Verna Mineral Water. Mm. They have been there Please since put your hands together. day one. Yes. I know they supported yes. the Mr. and Miss Autism okay. pageant yes. as well. Yes. I started with the talent show four years ago, yeah. Autism Talent Show, mm. and they've been on board since, and um, I'm so grateful to them. So they have been the major supporters for Mr. and Miss Autism. You're saying that the entire corporate space in this country, except for the company that you mentioned, they've yes. not really lent any support, um, funding, no. No. Some products. few individuals. Um, last, this year's event, we did it at... Um, um, Elbin Plaza. Yes. That man also loves what I do, so mm. he decided to sponsor. He gave us the space. Aww. You know, he did a lot for us. So I'm so grateful to him. Actually. How has this impacted, you know, um, your family and all that? Because I'm sure that as you're also dipping into your pockets, you're dipping into your family's pockets mm -hmm. as well, just trying to support these children. So has I have amazing followers okay. on social media. Mm. So. Most of the things I do comes from social media mm. um, followers. They support any course I put up. Basically. I remember Apefa um, made it possible for Miss, Miss Malika, Malika Delegates mm. 2020. They supported one of my courses. They mm. gave us 5,000 CDs. Wow. And that course has been... Um, 
It's been two years now mm -hmm. before the surgery. Like, it, we did the surgery not so long ago. A surgery for what? The, the girl has this... Um, it's not really hydrocephalus. Okay. But she has a condition. The eye is bulging out, so okay. they needed to... And I hear there had to be a lot of spe specialists, facial, because they would do reconstruction. Reconstruction, and, So wow. that took so long. That's why they just did it. And I think in... Five years time, they will do the second bit. But she's this. doing better now. She's very fine now. You can see changes oh, on her face. The eye is gone in a bit. You have and such yeah. a good heart. So thank you, Apepa. Has this affected your family in any way? Is it, you know, putting on due pressure on them? No, not no, it's not. not Everyone has been supportive. Yes. Um, my dad is my cheerleader. Mm. He loves everything I do, and he will post about it, send it to family members. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. So my dad is my number one cheerleader, and my mom. They are proud of me. They I are know you have a son. Okay, yourself. so my son is my late sister's son, oh. but people don't know because I've taken him as my own, mm. and um, I, I always say he's my son. So a lot of people think he's my son. He's my late sister. He's your son. late sister. Bless her soul. Yeah. And God bless you. Thank you. Uh, for that. But I know that as you're supporting these children, some of them unfortunately are not able to make it beyond a certain age <sighs> and they pass on. Tell me about the that. most emotional one was one baby who had hydrocephalus. Um, the baby was only seven weeks old. Mm -hmm. They lived in Ho. Someone reached out to me, mm. so I said, okay, I'll try and help them. I raised funds for the baby. They came down to Accra. Then we had a challenge of finding a place for the mom and the grandmom to live. As usual, the boy who impregnated the girl mm. absconded. Okay. He wasn't ready to you know, take responsibility. So the girl was living with the mom, mm -hmm. and they came together to Accra. Now, where to, where to live was a problem. So finally, I found a place for them. Um, is it the mother's home at um, Kolebu? So we had to pay for the place and everything. The baby was doing OK. Mm. We were planning. We had finished raising the funds. And the baby was going through checks, being sure that she's OK before mm -hmm. they, they have the surgery. And one Sunday, the grandmom called me that the baby had passed. Oh so I hadn't taken my bath. I just brushed my teeth, put on a head gear, gear and just picked um, an Uber straight to Kolebu. The girl was crying. She's only 22 years oh old. No. And um, I couldn't also hold my tears. I, I, I also started crying. I asked what happened. They said that the baby couldn't breathe well, so they had to put oxygen on the baby. And even burying the baby was another challenge. I had to raise funds for um, the um, mortuary, to pay for the mortuary and everything. So wow. the baby was buried here okay. after the mom and the grandmom left to home. That was one of... Um, was very emotional and then there was another boy who had a cancerous tumor in the eye it's mm. been a year now since he passed mm. um i think they took so long at home because they didn't have funds mm -hmm. um when they reached me i think it was too late we had finished raising funds as well and then he passed so we supported um, transporting the body to hole mm. and the burial and everything. Mm. So with baby Aku, because we had already raised the funds, her, her money was used to um, operate on two other two babies. Others. Who yes. are doing fine yes, now. Yes, they are very fine now. Do you sometimes want to give up because of all these <sighs> difficult moments and the challenges that you face? Giving up, um, not give up, but sometimes I, I feel tired. Like when you are trying to find help and it's so difficult, you know this person can help, but they tell you mm -hmm. they won't be able to help. Mm -hmm. And it's, I become emotional, like, yeah. and I feel tired, but giving up has never been an option. Never. I just feel tired. So I decide to, you know, rest for a while and then pick up again. Is your career not suffering as a result of this? Because you seem to be focusing on, I know that you were, what, on TV at a point? Mm, yes. Was that your main focus when you started? Um, I wouldn't say my career has been affected because I know how to balance. And I don't always have to be going to the hospital. I have someone I have to be talking to, liaising with. And if it's necessary for me to go to the hospital, I do that. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't really had any impact on what I do. It's just recently that I just picked up, picked up another TV um, Show? Challenge, yes. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Congratulations on that. Thank you. Have you started officially? Yes, I've started. It, it's been, I think, 
a month and some few weeks okay. now. It's in Idaso Television. Nice. Yes. Um, it's on satellite. We are now trying to come to on digital. On. Okay. So I co-host the morning show and I do the entertainment um, show as well. So today I didn't go to work because of that. Oh my God. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? <laughs> We're very lucky. Yeah. Do you model on the side? Um, I, I do photo modeling sometimes, yeah. but now I don't do much. Sometimes people want me to wear their clothes, yeah. makeup, mm -hmm. hair, and I, I do that once in a while and I get some small coins. Life is good for you. <laughs> I get a superstar and you're living in purpose as well. Let's talk about awards. Mm. What are some of these awards that you've received Ooh. for this amazing job you're doing? Um, Goa, mm. um, um, 40 Under 40. Uh, humanitarian one or you no, were nominated last year. last year. Did you yes. win? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what category did you win? Um, humanitarian. Humanitarian, okay. Yes, okay. yes. yes. Same with Humanitarian Awards last year. I yeah. won. Um, excellent Youth Awards. Something yeah. I forgot. I, I have a number Quite of them. Quite a number of them. Yes. I'm sure you wake up every morning you're counting and you're like, hello. So this year I decided really? not to be on any. You don't want Dr. Ewan. I can pass on my award to you, you know. I don't even know what I received, but that thing that I was holding. I'll never forgive that man for it. Maybe we should coming up with another award. I'm waiting here with the king. I'm waiting here with the king for that man. If he ever shows up here, he's in trouble. But I think you're doing great. Thank you You're doing great. And what would you say finally? So all those parents out there who are losing hope because they have children with special needs and they just can't seem to figure out how to handle them? Well, what I would say is first, accept the fact that you have a child living with a condition. Um, if you don't accept it, it will be difficult for you to, you know, even love your child. So the first is accept the child. Mm. After acceptance, try and educate people around you. And don't keep your child in the room. I know the stigma, it's, it's very, like, I don't know, ha, <sighs> emotional when you go out there. Like, I, I said an example the other day, a mother took the child living mm -hmm. with autism to the banking hall, mm -hmm. and um, the child had a, uh, had a meltdown mm -hmm. and was screaming, and one woman just walked up to the, the mother of the child and was like, oh, but one in a So the woman started crying and left the banking hall with the daughter. So mm -hmm. this is some of the challenges they face. That's why they wouldn't want to even go out with their children. Yeah. So I know the stigma is there, but you, you, if you lock your child in the room and you are no more, you know, who is going to, yeah. she, your child needs to, you know, also understand what is going on around them mm -hmm. to be able to forge on when you are not there. Exactly. So I know the stigma is there, but please, we are all trying to, um, help eradicate the stigma. That's why we are here and um, hopefully um, we can achieve that in some few years to come. Definitely. Yeah, so Definitely. hopefully. Definitely. How do we contact you if we want to get in touch, support, if the parents need your support as well? How um, do they reach you? You can find me on all social media handles at Afi Antonio across board, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere at Afi Antonio. Or you can reach me on 0246 eight two seven eight five eight zero two four six eight two seven eight five eight ladies and gentlemen founder of afi antonio foundation afi bgmj we're gonna boogie with her before we let her go afi 